one. To solve this problem, we're going to use a very basic fact. We can write 5 to the power x squared as 5 to the power x to the power x equals 10 to the power x. Now, whenever you have a to the x equals b to the x, when a and b are different, you probably, hopefully, know that x equals 0 is a solution, right? Obviously, we can also use logs to find other solutions, but in this case, x equals 0 will do the job. Now, what about that? Well, if you just kind of consider that case already, and now look at the other case, which gives us 5 to the x equals 10. So let's go ahead and log both sides with base 10, because that's our number on the right-hand side. Bring the x over, x log 5. Remember, properties of logarithm, you should know them. And then finally, divide both sides by log 5. Whatever that number is, use a calculator, you'll get the answer. But wait a minute, log 10 is 1, so we can write x as 1 over log 5. And of course, there are so many other ways to find it. But there are two solutions. This is one of them, and x equals 0 is the other one. Thanks for watching. Bye.